Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Let's just share this. Put my glasses on so I can see. Hope everybody's had a good day. It's been really weird here today. The last little while, the weather's been very strange. Very, very strange. Let's just make sure that I am live on the right page because it's been known to happen. Make sure you say hello when you come in so I know you're watching. All right, put that out of the way. Let's see if I got anybody on here yet. Hey, Shelby. Help, you need help? <laughs> oh, I'm sitting on top of something. I thought it was my dog at first. Okay, that was weird. There's nothing underneath me, but my chair was wobbly. All right, so we're gonna do some ink tonight. I'm excited, are you guys? Okay, no more messages. We are live. So tonight, I'm thinking I'm going to do a cushion cover for my couch, and it's the Victorian skull. Kind of keeping in that Halloween theme, but look at this guy. It's so cool. I really wanted to do a lampshade, like I did my... Uh, my other one, but unfortunately, Ikea stopped making that particular lamp. <coughs> hey, Bev. Hey, Missy. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to do it in Storm and Copper Shimmer. I love these two colors together. And I'm going to do it on a black cushion cover. So I think that's going to look really good. So the first thing I'm going to do, put that aside, I'm going to put my ink mat. Now this is a <coughs> 17 by 17 ink mat. I'm going to put it inside, and I've never used this one before, so we're just going to take it out of the packaging. Sorry, that's a little noisy. All right, and I don't need to save the wrapper from that one because all of our ink mats come with a plastic protector that when you're done, we just put it back on. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to fold this to get it inside my 
pillowcase, cushion cover. I told my husband pillowcase earlier, and he goes, why do you want to do your pillowcases? I'm like, no, the kind for the couch. So I guess it's a cushion cover. So I'll just line that up inside. So this is an 18 by 18 um, cushion cover. And so the mat fits nicely inside. Now I'm just gonna pull on this because I don't want any wrinkles in my fabric. And it actually will stick to the ink mat and take out all of the wrinkles. It sticks really well. So you don't even need to iron your fabric first because the ink mat holds it down so nicely. All right. Almost done. How's everybody's weather been today? It's been kind of gray here in the Okanagan, which is weird. But this weekend is supposed to be, I think I saw and it said 20 something, 22 degrees, which is awesome. We're gonna do a hike on Saturday. Okay, so I've got most of the wrinkles out. I'm going to grab my transfer. This is an 18 by 18 transfer. Sunny and cloudy and chill a lot. Yeah, it's usually raining and oh. I remember when we lived in Alder Grove. By September. I was just I was done with the weather. Like it was miserable. I hate those days where it's just gray. Hey Kyle, even when it's rainy up here, which it doesn't happen very often, um, it's still bright. Like it's it's so hard to explain, but if you've been up here, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this transfer, before I start pulling it right off, I'm going to write on the back of it because the back is a paper side. So I'm going to write what the transfer is, and it's a Victorian skull. Because when I go to put this back onto the backer sheet, because this is how we store them, I don't want to put it on the wrong side. If I do, there's a chance that I could end up putting it on the paper side, which I've done before, and it will stick to the paper. This side is shiny, kind of glossy paper, so you know that's the side you need to put it on. But if you're in a hurry, it can happen and you put it on the wrong side. So I'm just going to flip this over and I'm not going to fuzz it because I'm putting it on fabric. I want it to stick really well. Now this has a few different kind of parts to it. And that's why I'm going to do a couple different colors. I think I'm going to do the skull. Hmm. I'm going to do the skull in storm and I'm using our chalkology ink. So once I do this, I can use my heat press or an iron. If you don't have a heat press <coughs> an iron, you would do four minutes on each side and then it would be permanent. You could put it in the washing machine. Your image won't come off. It's there for good. Okay. So,
There's so many parts to this. I love it. Okay, we're going to do the skull first. First thing. Then we're going to do... I kind of want to keep it so that you see the different colors. So I might do the chandelier in the copper. And see, there's a lot of lines going through here too. Okay, we'll do the skull first and then we'll figure it out. Uh, no, Sam, these stencils, I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning. This is Chalk Couture. We have uh, reusable silkscreen tra transfers that are good eight to 12 times. So depending on how you take care of them, um, you clean them after you're done with cool water and then you wipe the back with a Clorox wipe and it brings the stickiness back, let it dry. You put it back on the backer sheet and it's good for another use. Um, I can put the link in this live for you so you know where to look. Chaka Tour just launched in Canada on May 6th of this year. Prior to that, they've been in the U.S. since July of 2017. And the cool thing is, I'm using the wrong end, I have been watching Chaka Tour since they launched in July of 2017. So when I found out that they were coming to Canada, I was like, Pfft. I am all over that. Like I love crafts, but this is, it's so different. So I'm just wiping across the silk screen area. And scraping off the excess. Now, when I'm done with the skull, I can actually use our placement tape, which is like a washi tape, to make sure that I don't overlap in this area again. Now, the good thing with the ink is that you have a lot longer working time than you do with the chalk paste. The chalk paste, you put it on, and you pretty much have to remove your transfer right away because it will dry quite quickly. I just want to make sure I get around the chandelier here. All right. This one's going to take a little bit of time. It's not going to be one of my quick 15 minute videos. But I thought, you know, I got to change it up. Sometimes you guys might want to see a little bit longer video. And it's such a blah night out that what better way? Grab a beverage, a cup of coffee or tea, and sit and watch me chalk. All right, okay, let's do, I'm gonna grab a little tiny one here. Samantha, you have not missed much. I just started actually before you popped on. So this is our copper shimmer ink. And I'm just, I actually cut up a mini squeegee just to make a smaller piece for projects like this. I'm going to grab some more. 
Now, like I said, once I put this on and I heat set it, it's permanent. It is not going to come off or anything. Let's go across these lines here. It's super easy to make a unique gift for your um, for a hostess for Christmas, birthday present. I've done some onesies for babies. We have so many different ideas, stuff that you can make. It's awesome. I love that I have such a long work time with ink. I just love using ink. All right, just about done the chandelier. Just a little bit more here. When I first saw this transfer, I was like, oh my God, I need this in my life. Where else are we going to do? Okay, we're going to do the spider in the copper as well. Just because he's so close to the skull. So we'll do that. And you kind of do need to take your time, not like I just did and ran right off the edge of the transfer. So just take your time. Put the ink down. So our transfers are reusable for ink or chalk paste. So I can do this with ink. And then if I wanted to, I could do a picture tomorrow with the same transfer and use chalk paste on it. I love the versatility. Right. Do this part. And then I think I'm going to do the flourish in the storm. Just so we've got both colors going all the way through. I think I'll do that. Don't mind me, I'm just making up my mind on what we're gonna do as I'm going. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Uh, Samantha, I'm in the Okanagan. Hey, Diana, I'm putting this on a uh, cushion for a couch. I called it a pillowcase, but my husband says I'm wrong. This is not a pillowcase. So I said, okay, I'm putting it on a cushion. And then I'm going to get a pillow insert and put inside. This is a 18 by 18 cushion cover. And I have a 17 by 17 ink mat inside the cover so that my ink doesn't bleed through. Sorry, if there's any other questions, I will have a look once I'm done this and answer them for you. I think we're going to have a lot more of the copper on here just because I did the skull 
in the center with the storm paste. So we have Chalkology paste, which is our chalk paste. It goes on liquid and dries hard. It is completely removable. So if you put it on a chalkboard surface and six months down the road, you decide you wanna change up your home decor, you wash it off. It's absolutely amazing. Super, super easy. The ink, on the other hand, is permanent. So as soon as you put it on and you heat set it, it's on there for good. Like you cannot change your mind on that. I'm just gonna put a lid back on this. Oh, Samantha, I am down on the coast all the time. I'm actually going down there again, I think the 6th of October. And then I'm back down. Oh, when am I back down there? The 13th of November, I'm doing the Christmas market at the Trade X. First big market for Chaka Tour because we launched here so recently. So now I'm just going to finish off the rest with Storm. Get that covered nicely. If you're ever interested in having a workshop and earning hostess rewards, definitely send me a message and we can work something out. Like I say, I'm down there quite often. Doing a workshop on the 23rd of November. And then the Trade X, which will be fun. I usually go to the Christmas market every year. This will be my first time being a vendor there. That should be a lot of fun. So I'm using a squeegee. It's a rubber squeegee. We also sell those. And this is a small squeegee. to put my ink on. Now normally I would have put placement tape along the edges just because I don't want to get any of the ink on the rest of the pillow. But I was in a bit of a hurry this time just to hop on. And I didn't, but I think it's still going to look awesome. So we're just finishing off the last little bits here. Lots of details on this guy. But if you saw my Paris lampshade, you can see why I really wanted to do this on a lampshade. They're just so cool. And then you can change them out, you know, depending on the season. I wanted to do a Christmas one, but sadly the discontinued that particular lampshade. Okay, I think we're ready. Yes, you'll definitely have to. Hey, Lysandra. All right, are we ready? This is called peel and reveal because you don't know what's underneath until you pull back the stencil. <gasps> oh, you guys. 
I love it. Okay, I just threw that over into my water bath. I've just got a cool water bath going here beside me. I'm going to clean off my fingers. Now, I did get some at the bottom here. I'm just going to wipe it with the Clorox wipe before I dry it. Normally, you can get it off. This time I was successful. I'm just going to move this up here. A couple of little spots. So if you do this, it's always a good idea to use placement tape or masking tape just to protect the edges of whatever you're working on. Now, because this has spider webs and stuff, even if I couldn't get this out, it'd be okay. It would be just fine. Oh my God. This, this looks good. I'm just going to put the lid on this and then I'll show you guys. Doesn't it look cool? I think this is my new favorite. I need to make another one. I have to have two. Right? Like, you got to have a matching set. I love it. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab my heat press, move some stuff out of the way so I can put my heat press up here. <clears throat> so I'm using a Cricut Easy Press. I'm going to put the temperature at 330 degrees. And I have this for when I'm doing workshops, but I also have a big heat press behind me. Right now I've got some stuff displayed on it, so a little harder to get to. We're in the midst of renovating downstairs. I'm just taking, loosening the mat here. I'm gonna fold it in half and remove it. Now this has a little bit of ink on it. I'm just gonna use some regular water and wipe it off. Let it air dry. And then I'll put that protective plastic sheet back on and it will be sticky again the next time I use it. I know, isn't it beautiful? You might want to make some pillow covers on Friday, right, Bev? Okay, I'm just going to hit this with the blow dryer. I want to make sure that it's good and dry before I heat set it. You don't want to heat set it when it's wet because it won't last as much. I love how this turned out. I might have to get another one of these transfers. I only got one. So cool. Right, Beverly? This one is called the Victorian Skull. I think everybody needs this transfer. It is beautiful. I was going to do it in the storm. Hey, Shelly. I was going to do it in storm and in gold shimmer, but I'm really glad that I did the copper shimmer. It's just more subtle. I love it. Still a little bit tacky. But 
just going to lift it up. Sorry guys, it's a little noisy. Bam, I got them from my Ikea. They are called uh, Gurli, G-U-R-L-I, at Ikea, and I got black, gray, red, and white. I bought a bunch the last time I was down there, just because I knew that I was going to be doing this thing and I've got some Christmas ones that I want to do. Yeah, just go to Ikea. I love Ikea. Okay, so now I put a Teflon um, cushion underneath. Now, if you don't have a Cricut Easy Press and you just have an iron, your ironing board is fine. Use the ironing board and use parchment paper. I'm using a Teflon sheet because I have one. And then if you were using an iron, you would do four minutes on each side. So do four minutes on this side, turn it inside out, do four minutes again. But this way I'm going to do 330 degrees for 30 seconds. I'm gonna go across the whole thing. I'll do the outside first, then I'll flip it inside out. I'll do the inside and then it's permanent. It's awesome. I love this. So this is a Halloween transfer, Victorian skull, which means that it's only going to be available for a limited time. So if this is something that you're thinking that you want to get, I would actually suggest ordering it now. Because with our seasonal transfers, when they're gone, that's it, they're gone. And they won't be restocked. So yeah, I have to get on it and order a couple of more of these. Because even at when I do the Tradex, I think, I think these would sell. Like they're just such a cool transfer. It doesn't have to be just Halloween, right? You guys agree? I don't know if you can see there's steam coming off here. All right. So we'll do number three. Because it's so big, um, you need to do it in kind of four little patches. And I have extra cushion covers, Bev, if you can't get to Ikea before you get here. And lots of cool patterns. All right. Move it over to the last section. And it really gets all the wrinkles out too after when I'm heat pressing it, which is really nice. Yeah, what do you think, Amy, that these would sell even around Christmas time? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. You're almost done. Hey, no. My dog is playing with my towel. 
Okay, so now I'm going to flip it inside out. And do the same thing again. So you can see that the ink kind of went through. Hey, Joanne. But with the ink mat, it protected it from going all the way through to the other side of the fabric, which is awesome. And that's okay, Joanne. You can always catch the replay. At least you'll be able to see the finished project. Yeah, I love skulls. Like there's just something about them. This one in particular, just, I don't know. It just speaks to me. It's just so cool. All right. We're in the home stretch. And I didn't pull out a cushion cover, but you guys will get to see it, what it looks like. And then I'll take a picture with the cushion cover in, or the cushion inside it so you get to see what it really looks like. All right. So if anybody's interested in the VIP group, um, I've got a couple specials going on there for September right now that I can't post on my business page. Um, comment hashtag VIP and I will get you that information. I'll do this. And if anybody's interested in Club Couture, our monthly subscription box, you get an eight and a half by 11 transfer that is exclusive for Club Couture members. And you get three coordinating paste colors that go with it. Um, that price is $26.99. And then you pay tax on top of it, but your shipping is free and it will be delivered to your house. They're fun little transfers. You can change up monthly. Um, I posted a few of them on here last month was, oh my goodness. We watched last month. Am I really that tired? The month before was the hedgehog. Last month was, oh my goodness, my brain just stopped working. It seriously did because I can't remember and I just did it last week. Oh. What the heck? You know you're getting old when. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm looking at the projects that I've got finished here. I think it was Oh, yes, Creep It Real. That's what it was. It was a Halloween transfer. So if you decide you want Club Couture, um, comment hashtag club, and I'll get you that information. You also have the option of including the September transfer. Seriously? Oh, there it is. I was thinking, oh my God, I got a broken zipper. Okay. 
So there is our completed cushion cover. I love how this turned out. I really do. Like it is awesome. It's one of my favorites. <clears throat> and I really, I have an extra lampshade upstairs. I think I might take that lampshade off my lamp and do this on the lampshade. And this will be my Halloween decor for the living room. Oh my goodness. It's so cool. And I could put it around the lampshade so it would be like the whole design, but in sections, just like I did with the Paris one. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So if you guys want to join my VIP group, comment hashtag VIP. If you'd like information about Club Couture, comment hashtag club. And if you'd like to find out more information about Chaka Tour and the opportunity that Chaka Tour can give you, comment hashtag team and I will get you that information. It's an amazing company to work with. Absolutely amazing. I'm excited. I have to make another one now. I need a matching set. That's all I can say. And I got my pumpkin sitting upstairs that I made the other night. And then the canvas was one by Brian Mogi. So that's pretty awesome. Right, Joanne? Isn't it amazing? I love it. I love it. Oh. Getting encouraging messages. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I will be back tomorrow night. Um, not sure what I'm going to do yet. I don't know how I'm going to top this one because I really like this one. <laughs> but uh, I'll think of something. I will chalk with you tomorrow at 7 again. And thanks for hanging out with me and watching. Bye for now.